right, guys, I do have another editorial for you this morning. Now, this one, I didn't do it right when it came out. I kind of waited. And then something happened to the officer that I'm kind of glad I waited. But this is another one where a cop shoots somebody. And then they say, you know what? You're shedding a dead deck. What am I talking about? Let's jump into it. Thank you, NBC News, for this story. A police officer in Waukegan, Illinois, has been fired after fatally shooting a black teen and wounding a young black woman who were inside a car. The officer who shot at the vehicle Tuesday night, killing the passenger, Marcellus Stinnett, 19, and wounding the driver, Tafara Williams, 20, committed multiple policy and procedure violations in the incident. It has been terminated from the force, said Police Chief Wayne Wallace in Waukegan, 42 miles north of Chicago. The shooting occurred just before midnight after one officer was investigating an occupied vehicle and the car fled, police said in a news release. Moments later, a second officer spotted the vehicle in a nearby area. As the second officer got out of his vehicle and approached the car, it began to move in reverse and the officer fired in fear of his safety. According to the news release, they always say that I was in fear of my safety. <clears throat> and why are you a cop? I'm serious. I, you know, and, and I know that there are instances where cops are in fear of their safety. Sure. But it seems to be the card, you know, I'm going to use this when, uh, uh, somebody commits a soccer violation, pretend this is red or yellow. And the referee goes, and you go, ah, you got a card, man. That's what these cops do whenever they shoot somebody or beat the fuck out of somebody. They go, fear, fear. Look, this ain't a, a game. Okay, this ain't, you listen, law enforcement officers, this isn't a game. This isn't soccer or football. Holding, law enforcement officer. You know, no, this is real life and people are getting beat down and killed because some officers are like i was in fear yeah you're an elephant scared of a mouse williams was taken to a hospital with gunshot wounds and is recovering stinnett was also taken to the hospital but died of his injuries shortly after according to the news release Police said no weapons were found in the vehicle. The officer who shot the couple was Hispanic, and the uh, first officer who investigated the vehicle was white, according to police. I don't know why they had to bring race up. Maybe it's because it's a black couple, and they're saying, it was a Hispanic guy. Okay, it wasn't a white cop. The white cop was back there. Why do you even have to bring race? The officer was fired shortly after Lake County's chief prosecutor announced that the FBI will assist the Illinois State Police in an independent investigation of the shooting. In a statement, Lake County State's Attorney Michael Nerheim said he asked the U.S. Justice Department to review the circumstances surrounding the incident. Once the independent investigation is completed, it will be turned over to the State Attorney's Office for review. Nerheim said, as I have said before, once the investigation is concluded, all the evidence will be reviewed and a final decision will be made with respect to any potential charges. Activists and relatives of Williams and Stinnett have demanded the release of police video of the shooting, which authorities said has been turned over to investigators. Bye bye. The department's officers and squad cars are all equipped with cameras, police said. It was unclear what video exists of the shooting, and Waukegan Police Commander Edgar Navarro said Thursday there is no timeline as to when the footage will be released. It won't. Attorney Ben Crump, yay, who has also taken on the cases of George Floyd, Ahmad Arbery, and Breonna Taylor, said in a press release Friday that he will be representing Williams alongside co-counsel Antonio M. Romanucci. Crump said, quote, we have seen over and over that the official report when the police kill black people is far too often missing or misrepresenting details. Amen. He went on. Miss Williams legal team will be will begin our own investigation into what happened during that incident. He said we will share our findings with the public when we have uncovered the truth. An email to the Waukegan Police Patrolman's Union for comment on the officer's firing did not receive an immediate response, and it won't. Um, 
the thing that really gets me on this, though, is, and I know a lot of people are going to say, we don't know what happened. Hold on, we ain't seen the video. The cop got fired for shooting into a vehicle of a person who was unarmed. We don't know why he put it in reverse. See, he may have just been trying to get off the roadway. He may have thought, oh, I'm in the middle of the highway here. The cop shot him. He was fired. They fired him for something. You know the thin blue line. If this cop hadn't have fucked up, they wouldn't have fired him. They would have been like, oh, he's suspended pending the outcome of the investigation. No, he got terminated. But will they bring charges? That's the real question, and I'm glad that Ben Crump is in on this. That is my hero. Man, I love this dude. Thank you for watching, guys. Let me know in the comment section below how you feel about this and how you blue line guys feel about the cop being fired. Community Leo Watch, watching Leos, that's law enforcement officers, including those that get fired for shooting into cars from coast to coast.